Hi everyone! So today I'm making Asian noodle salad with ginger lime dressing. So recently I've been having this dish quite a bit because it's summer right now and it's so hot and this refreshing salad really helps to wake me up in the midst of this crazy heat. The next thing I like to add about this dish is that the salad dressing is soy free. Now I decided to create a soy free dressing because some of you out there might be allergic to soy and most Asian salads have soy in the dressing. So I wanted to do something a little different. Lastly, this recipe is so easy to make. I mean, if you're terrified of cooking or really lazy after a long day of work and you don't want to cook a whole bunch, this recipe is for you because it's so easy to put together. So I hope you'll enjoy it and give it a try. Okay, so let's get started. I have here four shiitake mushrooms and these are fresh shiitake mushrooms that I got from the Japanese market today and they're beautiful. I cut the shiitake mushrooms into thick hearty slices. I'm using shiitake mushrooms as they have an earthy flavor that's perfect for this salad. So now that I've sliced up my mushrooms, I'm going to be boiling them in vegetable broth along with seven snow peas. So I'm going to put the snow peas into the pot followed by my mushrooms and then I'm going to add this vegetable broth just enough to sort of cover up everything and then turn on the heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these vegetables for four to five minutes till they're done and then I'm going to strain away the vegetable broth and then the cooked vegetables will become part of my noodle salad. And I'm gonna leave my vegetables here. Now the vegetable broth, I'm just gonna save it for another day. So for every salad, you know, you gotta have raw vegetables. And for this recipe, I'm gonna be adding red bell pepper. And this is gonna give it some zing and crunch. I cut up one quarter of a red bell pepper into bite-sized pieces. Then, I cut up a quarter of the cucumber into thin strips. Cucumber gives this salad an added freshness. So now I'm going to move on to make the salad dressing. And the main ingredient for this dressing is coconut aminos. And this is a soy sauce alternative and it's slightly sweeter than soy sauce, yet it's savory, but it's less salty than soy sauce, which is why it's perfect for this dressing. I pour a quarter cup of coconut aminos into a bowl. I have here one tablespoon of fresh lime juice and what I did was I took one lime, sliced it up into wedges and then this is about three to four wedges of lime and it's gonna go in my dressing. Next, I add in one teaspoon of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of sriracha chili sauce for some heat, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, three stalks of chopped cilantro, three cloves of minced fresh garlic, and half a teaspoon of grated fresh ginger. So the last thing I'm going to be adding to this salad dressing is pure sesame oil. And I'm only going to be adding a quarter teaspoon of oil. And this is a very teeny tiny amount, but it's really enough to give this an amazing aroma. Now, I usually don't put sesame oil when I eat this dish only once in a while because I'm a high carb, low fat vegan, so I don't really eat a lot of oil at all. But sometimes, you know, if I want to indulge a little bit, this is amazing. In goes a quarter teaspoon of pure sesame oil. Give the salad dressing a stir so that everything is well mixed. So now I'm going to cook the noodles. I have here a pot of water and I'm gonna let it come to a boil before I put the noodles in. So let's turn on the heat. So the water has come to a boil and it's time for me to add in the noodles. I'm using gluten-free brown rice spaghetti, the Tinkiata brand, my favorite. But you can use any kind of noodles as well, you know, like um, rice uh, vermicelli or bean threads or even soba noodles. But for me, I really love um, the texture of this spaghetti, so I'm gonna go with that. Wow. 
So now on to the last stage. I'm going to be adding in the rest of my ingredients. The bell pepper, cucumber. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Pour the dressing over the noodles and vegetables and give the salad a good toss. Now finally, I'm going to garnish with some roasted sesame seeds. And this gives it even more texture. And then I'm going to finish off with some green onion on the top. And look at this visual masterpiece. The only thing right now that I need to do is to eat this. So, let's see how it goes. Mmm! Wow! She's lovely, lovely, wow! I mean, the star of this dish is really in the dressing. I mean, that chili sauce gives it that oh, kick. And then I have the ginger and the lime, you know, all these complex flavors. And it really punches through the noodles. And um, oh my goodness, really refreshing and it's waking me up like it always does and it never fails me. I'm gonna take one more bite. I'm gonna go in for the kill. Mm. You know, shiitake mushrooms are the perfect accompaniment to this dish. It's sort of soft and slippery and then you have the crunchiness of the rest of the vegetables and then the noodles and wow. the